This video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. On YouTube and welcome. We are drafting the Amaz Cube. It's currently out on Magic Online. It is part of the Cube Spotlight series and it's spanning from the 3rd of June to the 10th of June. Um, what do we want to take? Our last card is Supernatural Stamina, which I don't believe we want. We haven't drafted Blue Red. We could take some Electrolyze, go that direction. Yeah, I haven't played Conrad at all. It sounds like a couple people are like into the Conrad life. I could I could see that. Uh, does anyone know why SLB is? No, I don't. No, I have no idea, sweatpants. All right, people are into the Conrad life. I'm trying. I'm down to try it. I haven't tried it at all, and I am down to try some new things. I think if we're going that route, we can probably take something like Chittering Rats. I, I like Chittering Rats a lot. They go like, <laughs> giving him lifelink also strong. Yeah. So, what's all the text? It's every time you mill, or when a creature is put into a graveyard from anywhere, other than the battlefield, or a creature leaves your graveyard, it deals one damage to each opponent, and then you for two you mill. Delve works with Conrad, because yeah, it's leaving the graveyard from anywhere that's not the battlefield. That's funny. Yeah, I like the Chitter Boy. Ch chits is good. I'm a fan of Chits. I think if we are going this direction, we could take... Oh, man, Treasure Keeper. I haven't seen this card in a long time. When it dies, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land converted mana cost three or less card. You may play without paying its mana cost. Put all reveal cards not cast this way at the bottom of your library. I just want to take Aqueduct, though. Yeah. I'm impressed that chat knows how to spell Aqueduct because I, I think if you told me blank, I'd just be like, well, I have no idea. <laughs> Yes, Delcomo, you came in at the right time. We we lost the last game in a very stupid way. It was it was not cool. Not cool chat. Oh, did you spell it wrong, Fader? You did. DC DC got it. <laughs> Aqua. I mean we did just pick up a ponder or like an aqueduct, so yeah. Skull Prophet is cute with Sir Conrad. I guess I could see us going that direction. Ponder, I think, is like we're more likely to end up being blue black in this in this uh archetype, but I kinda like Skull Prophet and Real Talk. I know Aqueducts from Civilization. Really, Molly? Molly, I've been trying to I've been like trying to talk Raptor into playing Civ with me, but he's like busy with literally anything else. Slash testing for the Pro Tour that's happening this weekend, by the way. I think if you take a green card, I think you take the mana dark. Yeah. You know what? Let's do it. The aqueduct can be just off color. I don't even really mind too much. Let's just take Skull Prophet because it's still card advantage. Let's take Skull Prophet and try to draft like a, a really like blue or sorry, black green, black green Sir Conrad deck. I am into to try to make this happen. Dreamy, I swear to you, there's a PT this weekend. Yeah, we'll want to get some spider spawnings. I kind of like the Palaka Worm True. Like, yeah, Darth. Boom, got him. <laughs> yeah, reanimating Palaka Worm sounds good, too. All right, let's take Palaka. Palaka, Laka. So, seriously, where have they advertised that there's a Pro Tour going on this weekend? Because the only reason I know is because two people in this house are going to play it. And Luis has been testing and Raptor's just been kind of watching Luis test. <laughs> I know, Sponzi. <laughs> Leaking that secret tech. Clearly no one knew. I feel bad for people who are playing this as their... Oh man, so I played against Spiraling one time and uh, he had Great Oak Guardian and uh, what's it called? Spider Spawning Combo, which is actually like a kind of sweet combo. Yeah, really, he's got the fire, Johnny. I could also see taking Elephant Guide. Like, it's not bad. If we want to go like super big into Reanimator, we could Artisan of Kozilek. That would have been gassed, Ryan. There's no rules that say that Julie Doggers can't play in the Pro Tour. Hmm. Rolling Thunder's a little like we're reaching for sure. Alright. I'm gonna take Artisan of Kozilek. Let's try to draft a Reanimator, or as best as Reanimator as we can. Yeah, Dokomo, he also Raptor's just very good at magic, so he can just do that. He also did that at GP Denver. He hadn't played a game of the format and he was like 
running for top eight with like a deck where multiple times he'd have to be like reading his opponent cards like in day two because he's like, I'm sorry, I don't know what that card does. Do you mind if I look? <laughs> Return X star, you get your cards from your graveyard to your hand. I We could take death tonight. I don't think we're playing it. We could also have Relic of Proficitus. Nah. Corpse Jack's Menace. Oh, Gurmag Gamble Angler kind of works, doesn't it? If you put one or more plus one plus one counters on a creature, nah, I don't think I want that. I think we could get Gurmag. Or what does Torment of Scarabs do? Enchant player at the beginning of Enchanted Player's upkeep, it loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Let's just take Angler. <laughs> That's cute, right? That is a tagline for Airbud. Are they still making Airbud movies or nah? Are they done? Wait, was there a rampant growth? I think here we can take regrowth, yes. Hey, Harry Boy Boy. Oh, I like Grapple from the past in this deck. Oh! <laughs> That's clever, Molly. I, I, whoosh. I'll take Grapple from the past. Ah, uh, there was a rampant growth effect in the Death Tonight pack. I honestly don't even remember. I'd have to go back and look. Yeah, that was some real Gabby Wish, Molly. Let's tromp the domains too. Until in the turn, could you control get trample and get plus one plus one for each basic land type among lands you control? Well, we're not playing this, so we might as well take I don't know, punish some person who wants I guess sky white teachings, whatever. Ooh, jungle hollow sounds like something I am interested in. Black is does look like it's drying up a little bit. I could see taking Sultai Charm too. Destroy a monocolored creature. Nah, I'll just take a Jungle Hollow. Beast Attack is really good if we're milling ourselves. Over fixing? I was a little worried about our fixing situation. Green is definitely open. We have to maybe pick up a lot of black in the second pack. Because I think we are like pretty into this reanimator thing. I guess I'll take a Jun Charm in case we pick it. Yeah, I, I really, I just like having good mana, I guess. Let's take Elephant Guide to the sideboard. I don't think we're playing the other one. Uh, righteous, I'm good. We did the, ooh. Love me a Baleful Strix. I don't think we can play it. Ooh, Golgari Siggy looks good. It's just some ramp. Dismember's good. Saltai Soothsayer is really, really freaking clutch. But I don't think we can take it over some of the other stuff in this pack. Like, I think, I think Dried Green Seeker is just so good. Maybe we take like the Green Seeker and or Dismember and then wheel the Soothsayer. Because we wield Sultai Charm. Yeah, I think so too, DC. I think we can let the Soothsayer go and try to wheel that. Yes, I think I'm going to take Green Seeker. This card's just so freaking good. So we can take that and then maybe try to make sure we pick up some fixing. We have the Aqueduct already. Ooh, I like the Edifice of Authority. That card's really strong. Baron Moore is also really good. I know, Dokumoi. I just really don't feel like... I don't feel like Baleful Strix was in contention for like top three cards in that pack for our deck. Yeah, Bounce Lands are very good. They are better than the Cycling Lands. I guess I could see taking Orzhov Basilica. What's our other option? Edifice of Authority is quite good. Hey, Bear! It's a you! It's Bear! How are you? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think I'll take the bounce land. I am in. Back for more. Oh, baby. God, why is there a blood for bones in the same pack? F. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> All right, well, we definitely want back for more. We're looking for Seder Wayfinder. We haven't seen him, have we? That would be very good for us. You think blood for bones is better? As additional cost of cast a spell, sack a creature, turn a creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. It is cheaper. But you do need stuff to sack. We have currently a Skull Prophet and a Chittering Rats for sacks. I guess I could see um, back for more wheeling. So let's do this. Let's take Blood for Bones and try to wheel the back for more. Oh, I think uh, Order of Midnight looks pretty sweet here. It is a... It is a fine card for us to sack to Blood for Bones. It also just like reanimates stuff from the yard. Like it's a way to buy. It's like a regrowth essentially. Bear, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. We did our last Secret Lair stream today. It was actually really, really fun. I, I very much enjoyed doing those streams. And um, got to walk the Julie Doggers. Hold on, let me move my camera. I realized that it's like kind of off centered. There you go. And uh, 
I don't like Recruiter as much as I think I like Order of Midnight here, Green Cobalt. I think they're both pretty good. What is Treasure Hunt doing in the keep? That's a good question. Acolyte of Affliction looks amazing. Winding Way is also very good. Choose a creature or land. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all reveal cards of the chosen type this way into your hand. But Acolyte is just so sick. And if you buy it back, you just get to keep like buying back things. Torn is good too, Zs, man. I think Acolyte is a little bit better. Maybe we can wield a Winding Way. We'll see. Wait, wasn't Baloth no gas? When Baloth Null enters the battlefield, return up the two target cards from your graveyard to your hand. I remember this card was backbreaking. You'd be like trading one for one with stuffs, and then they just play Baloth Null, and you'd be like, damn it. Oh my god, that's right. That's what they called it. They called it Null Drifter. I forgot. Let me take out the Death Denied. I don't think that's happening. Target you control against death, death Touch until in the turn is an Onyx Mage. It's two mana, two one. That's it. I guess we could take the Wicker Bow Elder for the sideboard. Yeah, I, I I guess I could also see us playing it, I suppose. We have seen a lot of enchantments. Selesnia so Guild Mage or Trumpeting Herd. <sighs> Greenlight Guild Mage is really good. We also have the Orzhov Basilica to splash the creatures you control get plus one, plus one, that's on the turn. You mostly just want to make Sapperlings anyway. So, Cloak or the big green white aura? Big green white aura. Green white aura. I don't even see it here. They both are medium. I'm going to take Selesnya Guild Mage though. It's like, it's a green green card. It's kind of hard for us to cast. Yes! Okay, so, so Soothsayer came back and then from the next pack we're hoping we wheel back for more. I think so. Hey Hexy, welcome. God, this fucking fly. Get out of here. Kill Mage is a six mana to get a one one for a blood for bones. I think I th I thought it was Soothsayer into the oh no you're right maybe there's one pack then the pack with back for more. <laughs> hey unknown welcome, how's it going? Lexi welcome also. You're coming in to watch us draft some BG Garbos. This used to be a BG Garbo stream and it still is. This deck is looking okay. Is there anything else here that we don't want? I think right now we would run almost everything. Bear, I'm liking it so far. I am both. I always get very excited for a new set. So that just like in itself is an exciting thing. And uh, I like some of the reprints that we've been seeing. Like corsets tend to be... I know a lot of people don't like corsets because they're really like... What's the word? They're kind of mellow. Like they just don't have like that much going on. But this set seems to have some cool stuff going on. I think this was a pack with back for more. There's a chance it's the next one. We can take Lampad. But I, I think it was that one. There's a chance it's in this one. Yeah, no, there's a, a lot of cool reprints. Some of them might not end up being that good. Like, I was excited for Solemn Simulacrum, and then my friends were like, it's not going to be good, Gabby, get over it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Sad. Yeah, they, they really are, Wolf's Ark. Are they reprinting Rewind? If Rewind is like four mana counterspell on top four lands, is that right? Solemn will be good in draft for sure. And I guess that's what we're going to be playing more of. So I am Gucci with that. Seems like they want people to, who play Commander to open packs from 21. Yeah, I could see that. Yes, it was this pack! I was so nervous. I really thought it was the last pack. I, I like played myself. I thought it was back to back, but we got there. Actually, if you look very closely at the back for more art, you can see that it's actually Baloth Null coming back for some more gnomes. Look at that. They look so similar. Ma mass yeah, exactly, Bear. I think people were like, oh my god, it's Massacre Worm. And then people were like, wait a second, it's Massacre Worm. <laughs> Grim Tutor is also just not going to be good. Uh, let's play Vampire Envoy. It's... It's nothing special. I think it's just a, a creature that can block for a while. Why is Zonvoy in this cube anyway? Does Briarhorn do? When ET beats Terry, because plus one, plus one, so on the turn it evokes. Nah, I'm not interested. Nah, I'm not really interested in you either, but I guess I can take you. Not interested. 
Not interested. What does this do? Enchanted creature has flying whenever enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player. Create that many 1-1 one, one sat. Nah, off it. <laughs> Massacre Weirm! Isn't Briarhorn very good? Oh, I'm not saying it's a bad card. I just don't think it's on theme for what we're trying to do. Weirm is a real word! Oh man, Barter and Blood is probably pretty strong. Also, Chupacabra sounds like such a good card for us to get back. Last card is a Thornwood Falls, which we would like to wheel because we have that Soulsayer. But I think we have to take... Remember, this cube is called Chupacabras versus inexperienced players. We have to take Chupacabra. Yes, Barter and Blood is good, Z's man. We used to have a little, um, like, just like, Kitchen Table Magic dead deck that had, like, vampires and Barter and Blood. And that was, like, one of the main ways that I could kill one of the other decks we played against because it had hexproof creatures. So Barter was like one of the things I could actually kill, you know. Putrefy seems good. We kind of need some interaction. I would like not to play... not to play the good boy. Uh, I have not gone around to Monster Train yet to know she. I've been like... I've just had a lot of like random stuff to do over the past two, three weeks, so... I just haven't I haven't been gaming that much after after stream. Yeah, I like Putrefy. It's a good card. Do you remember when people when when they reprinted Putrefy and people lost their minds? They're like, oh my god. Bane of Balagad, eh? Wasn't this card really good? When you ETBs, you may put a minus one minus one counter on a target creature, and then you sack it, you can destroy the creature with a minus one minus one counter on it. So you can kill a one one or do other stuff. So I think we just take Lana War Elves though. Yeah, I was just scoping out, seeing seeing the options. Oh man, Slewers, I wish. I wish. It's just been like random contracts and stuff that I have. I do a lot of contract work for CFB, so I've been like really busy with that. And I've just been dealing with some stuff with my family too. So it's all good, but it's just been like kind of like tedious work. Uh, playing the field. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Ark. We're playing the field before settling down. <laughs> I haven't decided what we're doing this Thursday though. Because we did community day last week maybe this is the maybe this is the thursday for monkey island i don't know we'll see we'll see yeah totes totes fader totes i think we can take paradise druid here like i don't mind having some rampers because even though we are like on the reanimate plan and we do have two reanimate spells we also could just like hard cast balon and all we can hard cast you know palaka worm and stuff so Let's get that guy in there. Okay, so we're at 23. We only have two rampers, so I don't think we'd go lower than 17 lands. <laughs> Green Cobalt. Oh, yeah, it also splashes. You're so right. It also splashes for the Soothsayer, which I really would like to... So we're hoping that on pack... On pick nine, which will be the first pack that we got, there should be a blue... This is pick what? 11 cards left. Huh. This is kind of interesting. Crumbling Necropolis also plays red, but I can't really see how that would help us too much. I kind of think it's just Dismal Backwater. Dismal Backwater is just better than this because we don't need red and this gains one life. And then we'd have one, two three blue sources for the Sultai Soothsayer. Yeah, that seems okay. Easy ban charm. We're reaching at that point. We'd be if that'd be ambitious. Oh, I love Myriad Landscape. It's a little awkward. We can't have multiple blue sources. We could also take Hooting Mandrels. I'm not even sure if we like want that though. The card is in the top left has to be good. Oh, the Breaker of Armies. I don't this has to attack each turn of Abel, right? Oh no, all creatures able to block Breaker of Armies do, so I, I I was like kind of remembering what it did. Yeah, I like Myriad Landscape too. I think I'll take that. It's just a really good card. Doomfall? Oh, Death Sprout's gotta be good for us. Like it's actually like a pretty hard card to cast. What is Soul Snuffers? When Soul Snuffers enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on each creature. Wow, that's wild. But I think we want Death Sprout. Um, 
Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two, has flying, and is a demon in addition to other types. Nah. Oh, never mind. When inner demon enters the battlefield, all non-demon creatures get minus two minus two until end of turn. That sounds kind of pog. It's an enchantment, though. I didn't realize this is kind of a wrath. We were talking about which wraths were in this cube, and like I didn't realize that this was in it. Yeah, I think I might be taking the inner demon. I'm not sure we're playing it, but I'll take it. So barter and blood came back. Uh, wait, why is pacification right here? Isn't isn't like what's the name of it? The four mana one, top one that tops anything. Isn't that just strictly better and also in the cube? Lesser Master Core is not bad. Four to deal one damage to target creature. Icy Manipulator, thank you. Persists. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take Barter and Blood just for the sideboard. I can see us boarding that in. I don't think we're going to play any of the other stuffs. Uh, what does Wolven Wild Mysteries do? Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. Me. Oh, does it only cost one, Molly? I guess it's not strictly better, but that other card is just not very good. I think I'm going to take Siggy. And I do like the Banewood Punisher. It looks better than... I guess I could see us wanting to board in a Bramble Crush more than the Banewood Punisher, though. We would board this in against, like, a aggro deck. I think we're, like, pretty well set up against the aggro deck, actually. So let's just take Bramble Crush. Uh, none of these. We can take Soap. Actually looks good in here because it splashes Salty Soothsayer. The bot tried its best, Dabu. It wasn't very good. It was a medium attempt at best. Oh, interesting. Hmm. These are both good cards against like aggro. I think I'd rather take Vampire and Nighthawk. Yeah, the soap came all the way back. I'm surprised. It's a great bar of soap. Yeah, Gravity Cat, I don't think we're playing it. So the Vampire Envoy looks awful. Let's get rid of that. That's 24. We have Elves looks good. Lamp it also looks kind of bad. We can cut that. So then we'd have Phoenix looks good. Looks good. This is good. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. Death Pros fixes too. It's a, it's kind of a fixer. Skull Sprout or Skull Prophet. I think we're only gonna run Orso of Basilica for the Celestia Guildmate activation. So let's not worry about that too much. Uh, Chittering Rats putrefies good. We have a lot of ramp, which is nice because then we can just start casting the fours. We don't have to worry about not having that many threes. Hey, happy dude, welcome. How did the old draft deck do? Ah, uh, it was we went two one with it, I think. Wicker bow. Oh, Wicker bow elder actually looks kind of mediocre. So maybe. Wait, why did I take my soap out? Oh, that's true. That's right. Net. That's 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 good, Roro. I like that. Yes, we are two reanimates and just like mostly chunk. Mostly just chunks. Um, I kind of like Inner Demon. It seems... Maybe we don't run it in the main deck. We basically want to add one more card in here. I'm not sure what to add. I could see Lamp add. I really, we really would have liked to see like Spider Spawning, huh? Any nice TV shows to watch? I can't stop the Ozark and can't find anything exciting. Yeah, I stopped watching Ozark 2 sweatpants. I think I watched like a season and a couple episodes. Then it just got... It just got kind of old. Uh, <laughs> mostly Chunk is the opposite of my tiny self. Lol. Death Denied. What does that do? Yeah, Ozark got hella slow. To be fair, like... All of season one of Ozarks was like so intense that it's hard to keep up. It's hard to like keep that up for so long. Like you can't just always be so stressed out. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, Kadek, I like that change. Return next target cards from your graveyard to your hand. Eh, I don't think we need that. I could see us maybe like elephant guiding things. It is a good aura. We can put it on some of our, like, little creatures after we don't need it anymore. Like, you can't actually just mise people with Elephant Aura. I could also see, like, Nighthawk is a fine blocker, fine attacker against... It's, like, decent against aggro decks and can be sacked to Blood for Bones. I don't know how it's going to be enforced, Dabu. How do you all think it's going to get enforced? 
Yeah, I think Gatekeeper, I think I'm going to play Nighthawk. I know it's not amazing, but it's fine. Orsav Basilica, Landscape, Jungle Hollow, Dismal Backwater, Aqueduct. Do we run a blue source? I don't think so. Oh, I guess blue source is nice if we run one because then Deathsprout can go get it. So we would cut that and then go up a green source probably. So then we'd have six, seven, eight, nine. And this would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so we want to actually cut a swamp and go up a forest. So now we're still at seven, eight, nine, ten. And then for swamps, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so that puts us at ten, ten, one. That seems okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to run one just for the Death Sprout. It is going to be really nice to be able to tutor that. Because Soothsayer is very good. What other shows have I been watching? I watched all of Tiger King. That was pretty good. Or, yeah, Tiger King. Have I watched anything else good lately? Not really. <gasps> Dokomoi! I hope you brought enough for the class. Because Tengo Harambe. Uh, this hand's kind of slow, but I think we can keep it. I just hate mulling, and we can make all of our land drops. Vampire Nighthawk's a really good blocker. Oh, man, feline rough. Are you in California? I feel like everybody in California was talking about how hot it is over there. Dude, People vs. O.J. Simpson is so sick. Slubar, is that, that is an amazing show. You brought enough for everyone who I'm allowed to visit in quarantine. All right, I'll accept that. Oh my gosh, there it is. So tap target artifact or creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think people in California were saying that it was reaching temperatures of like 90 or something feline. But Ohio summers, if they're anything like Chicago or Indiana, since they're so close, are so like... They're like so humid. I did not like that. They basic land cycled away a Sylvan Reclamation. Exile up to two target artifacts and or enchantments with basic land cycling. That's a cool card. It's 94 today in Maryland. Damn. Ooh, I like Myriad Landscape. Yeah. Yeah. No. Stupid. That's pretty hot, Hexy. That's still pre pretty hot. Okay, we do need to draw some action. This is two and tap. Oh, so we do have enough. We can go... Um, and then we can still tap the Myriad Landscape. Just thin to win. Sure, that's whatever. 94 in Celsius is 34. All, so I I haven't lived in Ecuador for a long time. So all I remember is that when, once you get to 30, that's when it's like way too hot. That's fine. Okay. Let's activate. Uh, let's get forest, forest. Done. Man, we are, like, not, not doing great, huh? It's a pretty dry Dokomoi because it's up in the mountains. So it's, like, it's a pretty bearable. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done this against Reclamation Sage. I guess I could have tacked with my Pacification Array. No land cards. Okay, well, Order of Midnight's not bad. We get to get back a Vampire Nighthawk and then play a Burb. So I did let them hit me for two when I didn't need to. What is this? Yavimaya Elder, huh? 
When it dies, you may search the library for the two basic land cards, and then you can sack it to draw a card. Nah, I don't even care. Let's get Ultra Fate. Why do you want to kill the array? It really doesn't do that much. Oh, there's like four spikes in this cube. So yeah, let me play an island and then go cast Order of Midnight. Exactly, Wolfsark. Exactamente. But if the tar card is land and the next isn't land and you tap after draw, then you miss... Yeah, I think it's just better to do it at the end of the turn, to be honest. Like, I think if you want to make sure... It really depends on whether or not you need this tapped or not. That's, like, a big part of it, too. Yes, Dryad is such a sweet card. Like, we are kind of thinning to win, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Dix! Dix, how are you? Welcome! How's it going, dude? It's good to see you. Hope quarantine's been treating you well. Mm, sure. Oh, sweatpants, that, that, I agree. Agreed. All right, so let me look. That doesn't really do anything. Okay. So we're going to tap my Nighthawk, probably. Going pretty decent. You've been weird with work from home, but we're slowly introducing more people back into rotating schedule. Okay, that sounds good, Dix. That's good. I like it. Yeah, sees man, we would have liked to have, like, um... Uh, Seder Wayfinder or something. We we kind of didn't get there on that. Ooh. Taddy looks like something I'm going to kill. They're probably about to play land. Let me just go ahead and kill now. Okay, yep. Yeah. No Taddy's allowed. So instead steady progress when they can... Yeah, oh man, Dix. Wait, where are you moving? Where are you moving to? That's cool. Oh, yeah, she got putrefied big time. <laughs> Can we cast this soon? It's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, looks like we can. We can't even really return anything, but that's like doesn't really matter. You putrefy Nighthawk and then get back for more to kill a tattoo of it's technically on the <laughs> Smokey wants us to lose. Uh, Arizona in like two months with massive asterisks depending on whether you got a second wave of COVID. Oh my gosh. I think you're going to love it there, Dex. That's so cool. Maybe you'll end up close to Lady and you guys can hang out. That would be so cool. I liked visiting Arizona when I was there for uh, Regional Pro Tour Arizona. It was a cool place. Didn't have your baby all weekend. It was our anniversary, so you had a sitter. And I miss him so much. Cute little baby. Oh, but it's good to, to make time for, you know, for you two. That 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 also, I think, is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I agree with that, Beer Mystic. It does feel like... Oh, is this like Lashweed Lurker? Wretched Griff. We'll be an hour away or so. Oh, man, that, yeah, you're not actually that far. An hour away is really, really not too bad. All right, so they played a Griffey, which is fine. Yeah, Beer Mystic, it seems like maybe when it's time, like, when we get through the summer and going, like, into fall and stuff, when things get colder, it's probably when we're going to get a second wave of COVID. When it ETBs, you may search for a basic land card, sure. Okay, well, this thing does have Annihilator, too, so not sure how they're planning on... Uh, I guess they're planning on tapping it. That's fine. That means we can attack with uh, some of our other nonsense. Yeah, for sure, beer. Agreed. Nice. Ooh. Don't mind that. So 
So given where we're at, I think we can attack with Vampire Nighthawk because I think we're just like winning this race at the moment. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh huh. Dryad Green Seeker is a kind of combo with this, isn't it? Like, if it's a card we don't want, we can just mill it with Sir Conrad or something. Yeah, they can't attack with Wretched Griff. They just can't. Exactly, Seize Man. It's kind of annoying that the. Um, Putrefy could have killed the pacification rate, but honestly, I think if they had Taddy, they'd just be crushing us. Oh yeah, Kep, they, they've been just like slow rolling. I don't really know what's going on. What is Dias? Trample Hexproof. Okay. Um... So we don't want soap. We can definitely mill it. Oh, we hit a river hoopoo. <laughs> that was a really good one to mill because we really didn't want them to have that one either. Uh, what else do we... I think we do mill again. They're like a 14, so... We've been done angler. Well, now the angler can actually come back for some more. The angler can come back for more, fight the wretched griff, and maybe like team up to block the plated crusher or something. Of course. Uh, maybe I should be tapping my dried green secret upkeep now so that I make sure we don't draw lands. I think now we're in a spot where we might want to do that. Um. So they tap my artisan. I accept. Hit with Vampire Nighthawk. Wow, they traded. Surprised. I guess I just didn't want to be taking more damage from my Nighthawk or something. Let me... What do I want to do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Double exposure. We could mill. I mean, we can start by looking at the top card of our deck. We can start there. We can take that. And then we could blood for bones. I guess we would sack. This is when you cast it. So it doesn't we it doesn't actually work just reanimating it. I think maybe we just at instant speed, I think we might can sack order of midnight and put it back into our hand. Wait, how are we gonna put it back into our hand? Oh no, you sorry, yeah, no, that totally works. Let's do that. So let's go one, two, three, four. Sack you. So yeah, we're gonna Sir Conrad trigger. Yeah, I forgot about the second part of Blood for Bones. I thought it was just a reanimate spell. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Hey, Morgan tries! Sir Conrad is really good. Morgan, how are you? Welcome back. I love Sir Conrad. Sir Conrad is a banger for sure. And we can leave a back for more just for kicks. How have you been, Morgan? It's really good to see you. All right, so they took some damages. We can get back order. Choose a creature card. No, this is to put onto the battlefield. Um... I honestly think we want the Vampire Nighthawk and the creature back from this. Boom. Ding, ding. And now we can use Order of Midnight to buy back Blood for Bones? Oh no, it's a creature card. So we can get back Gurmag Angler, I guess. Yeah, Connie is gonna... I think the Gurmag Angler is better for back for more. So I think I'm just going to play Jungle Hollow and then we'll just use Sir Conrad to mill them. Like, there's just no reason to. We might even block the Plated Crusher, maybe. Could wait to see what they play with back Yeah, I think so. I think we're just going to wait a little bit. We we have no rush in this game. 
Morgan, how's your puppy? I know she's not a puppy, but all dogs are puppies forever. Everyone knows that. Oh yeah, Conan, Con Conan, <laughs> Conrad Mill is a solid way to kill opponents. Three damage to each creature with flying. You can't do anything about that. Oh man, they're attacking. So we can definitely like back for more eat a civic wayfinder. Yeah, let's do it. Hold on. Death touch does work in fighting, yes. Although we don't even need to. Gemma is real wet right now. I made her walk in the rain. Aw. She's a cutie. I feel like Gemma and Julie are like related. They look very similar to each other. Yeah, I might just take it. Instead of bringing something back, I might um just mill a bunch with Sir Conrad. Because I have to tap this thing anyways. Okay, so now we can back for more. I think we want to get the flyers. So we can back for more of the Vampire Nighthawk and then use that to start attacking. We have to tap this guy. Could also just get back Gurmag. Actually, let's just get back Gurmag. Fight the Civic Wayfinder. Then we can order of midnight getting back vampire nighthawk. Let's remember they have corrosive gale, by the way. That's a good card against us. Oh, ooh, hello. Oh shoot, they have frilled mystic. Hmm. That's pretty annoying, actually. We can almost kill them with Conrad activations for sure. Yeah, that was a really good draw. So let me go to attacks. They have to tap down the artisan. Don't really want to trade the Conrad. So let's go Bayloth Null. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get back, Vampire Nighthawk and Gurmag. Trigger, trigger. Yeah, Duke, but I don't feel like we need to trade it, honestly. It's just not really worth it, I don't think. Oh yeah, this is classic Joe Gurmagio. Let's go ahead and play one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, we have regrowth in this deck. Well, Duke, we you have to spend resources to replay Conrad, though. So it is still it is. It's not just like a wash. Yeah, I'll keep back for more there in case we... Uh, Days is in the format. I'm not super worried about Days from them, though. They seem to be mostly like a... Like a blue-green ramp deck. Not really like as much of a Days deck, I don't think. We should have attacked because we could mill them to one if they block Conrad triggers. Uh, oh, so Conrad dies and two other things dies. Doesn't that put them to two? Oh, because we can attack with a dried green seeker too. Yeah. I th Don't they go down to two life, Smokey? I thought they go down to two. Yeah, for sure, Beer Mystic. I am not worried about next turn. They seem to be pretty dead. Uh, do we have anything like in the form of enchantment removal maybe? Oh, we have the Wicker Bow Elder. We want to bring that in. Because did we see anything other than the Pacification Array? Because even just being able to kill this is good since we are a reanimator deck. Like the Artisan of Kozilek's only been tapped the entire game. Yeah, Duke, I think it's three triggers from... I think it's... Oh man, they cycled the Crozen Tusker which triggers my Conrad. Lol. That or a creature card leaves your graveyard is like such nonsense. Oh, bulletproof! That's a cute name for doggers. 
Yeah, Gatekeeper, I remember in this draft format. Sacrifice a land. What does that do? If you control four of your lands, search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Man, it doesn't do anything. Do you, all, do you all remember that you would always play against Conrad in this format, and then you, you'd always just die? You'd be like, nah, we got some time against it, and then you just didn't. You always just die to Conrad. Oh, that's the rampant growth I ignored. It seems like an okay rampant growth. It only works in the beginning, but then later you can cycle. It's a really hard cost to cycle, though. Can't believe we hard cast Artisan of Kozilek. Yeah, it seems pretty good, Gatekeeper. It seems not too shabby. I've been loving this cube. This cube's been really fun. I wish we had it for longer. Because tomorrow... Tomorrow... Oh! Legacy cube tomorrow. Is that right? Hold on. Magic online schedule. Holy fish moly. All right, so here's the schedule. So peasant cube today. Wow, this week was just packed with nonsense. Legacy cube until the 25th, which is, I think, when... And I think a, a arena cube draft is coming out, like, around here or something. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? They're Lashweed Lurkering me? But it doesn't really do that much, does it? Also, my Conrad triggers on the stack because they stacked their Frilled Mystic. Dude, Gatekeeper, I this has been like a good cube season. I feel like we've gotten a lot of cubes. The only cube I didn't like very much was the Cultic Cube, but I loved all the other ones. I The Cube Spotlight series is like my favorite thing. Sure... Put target Penalty and permanent on top of his owner's library. So they put my Conrad away. Yeah, for sure, double exposure. The, the like, I think the power level gap between commons and, like, the really good uncommons is, like, pretty big. So. Yeah, the Dakara cube was great, Smokey. The Cultic cube was not my cup of tea, but I'm sure it was some people's cup of tea. Oh, we know it's exactly there. I don't even know why I bothered. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, Arg. Sure. Does that even matter? We can just jam with these guys, right? They either block or something dies. Who cares? There you go. Okay, so they have... We definitely want the Wicker Bow Elder. Because we want to kill the Pacification Array if we can. Did they have anything we wanted to, like, Bramble Crush? Like, a non-creature permanent that seemed like a problem. Just the enchantment. Mm. There's nothing else I think we have that actually kills an enchantment, so... Yeah, this 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 Coney Mills has honestly been great. I am glad. They didn't have that much stuff, so I could see maybe Barter and Blood, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just bring in a Wicker Bow Elder. Let's just find something to take out. A Chupacabra looks good. Chitter Man looks good. Even the Vampire Nighthawk looked good. Order seems good. Drying Grease Sinker is great. Maybe just the regrowth is maybe a little unnecessary. Um, so, Duke, Rancor is really good, but it's much better in, like, a limited environment, like, draft rather than cube, because it's just a really difficult to... The only way you can get rid of a Rancor is if you kill it, the creature, while the Rancor's on the stack, otherwise it always just comes back. So, yeah, it, it's a powerful effect, but I think in cube it's just a little, like, a little not good enough. Let me keep this. Yeah, the, the angler is kind of medium bulletproof. It, it actually was smaller than a lot of their creatures, so. It's her bomb rad. <laughs> Wait, what card is that, Beer Mystic? I don't think I've seen that one. There's a, is it like referencing Moby Dick for reals? Yeah, Wolf Sark, I feel like. 
the way that game played out, there was no time for the, the Joker Maggio to really do anything. But it's certainly a very powerful card. Oh, that's Choosies, man. That's kind of a combo. Uh, they got the cool rampant growth. Jelly. Cube would have to have a deck that specifically wanted a synergy piece, right? Yeah, if there was like a Boggles deck, then then I think they would all be about Rancor. I kind of feel like uh, aggro is not super viable in this cube, which makes a card like Rancor just a little bit worse. Moby Dick picks. <laughs> We're gonna get some Moby Dick picks, apparently. So, we, uh, Collide of Affliction looks like a little awkward here. We really want to get the Soothsayer going. LSV is nice, but I beat him in cube. Th that doesn't have to have be it like a butt statement. LSV can be nice. Then you can also say, like, I'm proud I beat him in cube. He's very good at cubing. Classic duck picks. <laughs> mm, what is this? Ah, uh, that's really obnoxious, actually. That is so freaking bad, man. That thing is gonna be annoying. I think we want to kill it. <laughs> yeah, for real, Rage. That was extremely rude. They have so many lands. Look at that. We are so so. Okay, that's that's actually fine. We weren't even going to be able to activate it. Uh, awkward. All right, that's fine. Now we have Myriad Landscape, and now we can play the Wicker Bow Elder, and we can't fetch blue with it, sadly. Are there any cool fermented foods in Ecuador? Nah, you know what, Slubers? I don't feel like Ecuadorian like cuisine really deals much with like fermentation. Like not at all, actually. Um, yeah, I think we might play Acolyte and get back our dismal backwater so we can play Soul Toy Soothsayer. When ETBs put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. They could be on like Frilled Mystic Life. So we could just play like Wicker Bow Elder. Just to uh, just to uh, test the waters, because it seems like that's what they have here. Oh my lord. <laughs> Rage, why? Holy moly, what is this? Counter target spell create an XX green ooze creature token where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. God, I really hope they don't just pass here with a bunch of mana. Okay, so the way they tap lets me know that they don't have um, Frilled Mystic, which is good. Can't back for more yet. I can play Acolyte of Affliction to get back um, Dismal Backwater. I milled a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, let's get Dismal Backwater. And play it. All right, cool. So now we can get the Saltai Soothsayer going. Nothing can block those. Kind of Mystic Snake, but Nickelodeon Bucket. Man, chat, you know what we were talking about the other day? We were talking about Legends of the Hidden Temple because we ran into um, an Olmec in our D&D &D campaign. And it made me feel such nostalgia. Oh, man, they really just, like, didn't play anything, huh? Mmm... This is a 4-4. Four four. We could just uh, back for more to try to ambush. Dude, Legends of the Hidden Temple was so sweet. I used to love that shit. Alright, Chad, I think I'm going to hold on to the back for more because it... Or maybe they don't have anything because if they did have something, they would have... They would have left up Frilled Mystic last turn, wouldn't they? The Shrine of the Silver Monkey can give it to you. We could just try playing the Sultai Soothsayer and if it just... They they really didn't play it last time, so... Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. That's fantastic. 
Death Sprout seems good, and everything else looks medium. Death Sprout it is. Dark Knight Robin, thanks for the cheers. Oh, that sounds really cool, Slowbars. Nah, we don't we don't have anything. We have one drink that's kind of like that. It's called chicha. It's like fermented cane sugar, I think. Let me see how you make chicha. How to make chicha. Not chicharrones. Chicha. Peruvian chicha. Well, no, it's like Ecuadorian chicha. What is chicha made of? Uh, yeah, generally speaking, chicha is fermented or non-fermented drink that is usually made with maize. The two most well-known types of chicha are called chicha de jora and a fermented type made with special type of yellow maize called Hora and chicha morada, a non-fermented type of made with purple maize. So that's that's I think the like most fermented kind of drink that. Oh, that's such gas! I couldn't attack. Moosers, welcome, Moosers. Joe Germagio is here. <laughs> oh no, Costas, that's rough. They still aren't playing anything. What's going on out here? Mm. They didn't encounter anything last time, so let's just let's just palaka. Swing. Come on, don't tell me they have something now. I mean, we have the back from Morse is not even a big deal. They banned Winona Historic, so I'm taking it to Pioneer. <laughs> That's funny, Moosers. Moosers, are you playing in the thing this weekend? Aren't you playing in like the Lotus Box tournament? Can you tell us about it? I would like to know. You saw my tweet the other day, but I'm really liking Magic FM. Oh my god, Jub, I did. I'm so sorry I didn't respond to you. I think I was like in the middle of wrapped up in something. Thank you so much for saying that. I really, really appreciate that. That is amazing. Feels good, man. I'm glad you've been liking it. You said that you've been liking the videos on YouTube, right? I believe that's what the message said. Let's play Bailothnol. Actually, do we want to play Bailothnol? One, two, three, four, five. We can just play Joger Maggio. Um, and leave up Death Sprout. So let's go one, two. We can definitely get rid of all the forest and the no, not the Wicker Bowl Elder. No, no. Forest, forest, forest. One, two. Uh, we took the regrowth out so Putrefy can go, and Land of Worlds can honestly just go. And then that way we have Death Sprout, and we can also activate Myriad Landscape. Yeah, Ryan, I was so, it's so funny because I like talked myself out of it. Oh no, what is this? Lashweed Lurker, but they're just casting it. They're bouncing my Gurmagio. That's fine. Thank you so much, Jub. Yeah, I, I really like that we record them now. Like, I, th I think it helps a lot to just have, just be able to, like, see people's reactions and stuff. I think that is pretty good. They put it back on top of my deck. I guess technically I do want to draw it. It's honestly not a big deal to lose a Gurmagio. I think I'll just Death Sprout this thing. It's so tilting, Smokey. I hate it. Um, we already used a Soothsayer, so we might as well just get a Green Source. Wait, what did Slubars do? I want to know. You can check your Discord for some good news. <gasps> oh, I love it. I love me some good news. That sounds awesome. Okay, so let's attack with Palaka. Yeah, it's a, it's a removal spell that ramps. Wait, Slubers, share with the whole class. I want another good news. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty. Okay, they're off it. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I can't blame them. Yeah, I like Death Sprout a lot too, Bulletproof. It's like really hard to be in an archetype that can cast it and have it be good in your deck. But once you're there, you're like, give it to me, baby. <gasps> you got a call from Jobbers number one and they want to hire you. But you don't want to work there. But that's okay. You have the option. 
like Julie Doggers. You know, she just wants the option to be inside or outside at both times. She just wants the option. She doesn't necessarily want to go outside. <laughs> Yo, what up, squirrel? How's it going? Hold on. Do we have a squirrel get out emote? We need to... That is loose. We need to have a squirrel get out thing on here. Oh, uh, we actually have to send this one back. This hand's no bueno. We have... We can't cast anything. Oh, it's get out. You're gas. Thank you, Slubars. <laughs> you have a download MTGO. It costs real money to play these drops. No, it does cost you real money. Yeah. Uh, I think I will keep this and send back a forest. But if you're playing fandom Dark Knight Robin and you like 2-1 most of your drops, you basically go infinite. So it... I think it's pretty easy to like not spend a lot of money. A oh, magic online. No way. Lonely white. No way. You're joking. That's amazing. Hold on. Let me save your entire message. I have a Google document. Do you all know this? I have a Google document. When people tell me stuff on stream, I like put it in the Google document so I can reference it later because otherwise I don't remember. All right. All right. Settle down, squirrel. Settle down. Thank you so much, Lonely Wine. I will keep that one archived. Yeah, chicha is fermented, so it's not like super alcoholic, but it does have alcohol in it. But I remember having chicha when I was like 12 or something, so. <laughs> uh, so cool, Sixfoot, what did you plant? There's a good sour place next to it too. Ooh. Black Project Brewing. Let me save that beer mystic. I am into that as well. Yeah, for reals, chimp. It's funny. In Latin America, there's just a much bigger culture of like it being okay for, for people to drink when they're younger. So even though I feel like I had like mulled wine and stuff like that pretty early on, I still... Um, I didn't really get drunk until I kind of graduated high school. I think we just play aqueduct and yeah sounds good like at the end of high school is the first time i ever really got drunk even though i had had like liquor before the chicha place is good too love it yeah some mully wine classic mully wines oh uh, oh we actually have to play swamp to play vampire night hawk eh? love it we probably will trade here. Well, that sucked. Okay, we do need to draw, like, a little something-something. Just any creature. Best I can do is soap. Well, we will have back for more soon, but we don't really want to back for more of this thing. One, two, three, four, five. So we can technically back for more next turn if we want. We need more stuff to like fuel the graveyard. That's what this deck is missing. It's really missing like a Seder Wayfinder or something like that. Okay. Bastion is annoying. Oh man, Slubars, that's funny. Come on, creature. Yes. Amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll type that. So let's see what we mill. Ooh, Skull Prophet looks... Oh man, we gotta take Chupacabra. That's just such a banger. It's better than everything else here. Okay. Play that. Yeah, if it doesn't sound for you, like, there's definitely no... If it doesn't sound appealing, Polish Sniper, you're not really missing out on much. You you kind of have to want to, like, drink and stuff for you to enjoy it, I think. Definitely an acquired taste. Nah, not gonna block that. Uh, which, um... Oh, thank you so much, Six Foot! We plunder your time plan for a fantastic butternut squash soup on Sunday. Man, Six Foot, we had, uh, we had hail recently. And my plants got kind of baited. So I'm... I'm a little sad. They're looking a little like... Like... You know. I, they'll be fine, clearly, but... Damn, 17 months? Holy cow, Gabbers can't believe it's been that long. 
Oh, King Jay Eagle, that is wild. Sometimes when I see, because sometimes I remember when people subbed and it just feels like it was yesterday. King Jay Eagle, thank you so much for the 17. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having an awesome one. Let me play Orzov Basilica and I'll just pick up a swamp. It's fine. Are they on like nothing? Kind of looks like they're on nothing. Oh, really, Ryan? It hailed pretty hard. Wait, what did you say? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I, I I didn't see it, slow bars. You're supposed to fried bacon. Hi, Jules. Oh, hi, JD. Look at that doggers. Jules, Jules, come back. Let me love you. Julie, come back to me, puppy. Um, yeah, we definitely want to kill that one. That one's kind of spooky. The dog's just like jamming. Huh. Wow, we can actually activate the ability. That's funny. Do we. Should we just uh, back for more of the vampire Nighthawk and fight this or Conrad? We could back, we could Blood for Bones, sack Troop, get back Nighthawk, and then play, get back Troops. Maybe that's the best play, actually. That that sounds pretty good. Let's do that. So let's go one, two, and then get black, green, right. And then we still have, yes, and then we'll still have enough for Chupacabra. So let's go... I think it's fine if we do this and we... Oh, we are at 13, actually. And that's looking a little sketchier, isn't it? Maybe we just go like this. Back for more the Vampire Nighthawk to fight the Sir Conrad just so we don't take a ton of damage. And then we can make the Blood for Bones plays later. And then play like a Selesnya Guild Mage. I just really don't want to take a ton of damage, especially while I have Bastion out. So... One, two, get back Nighthawk. Hold on, now we need a tap, hold on. Hold your horses, let me just play this first. There you go. We would like a Palaka Worm. Two, three, four, five, six. Back for more than Nighthawk. And just like fights her Conrad. And then we can just get the Vampire Nighthawk back later. But yeah, this is just so much damage. Look, it's like the Bastion, then the Conrad. Next turn we can sack the Ravenous Chupacabra. Get back the Nighthawk. Let's just might as well attack. Yeah, we need a Palaka Worm. We really do. Oh, that sounds really cool, Six Foot. I'm jealous. I, I feel like our... We're leveling... Oh. Baby. Oh no, hold on. I tapped wrong. There you go. Amazing. All right, I think they're going to scoop here because there's just no way they can... They cannot beat Palaka Worm, I don't think. Let me play that. Ooh, some mana burn. Oh, shoot. Didn't expect that. Honestly, not that big a deal since we just gained so much life, but that is kind of annoying. They're going to block my Selesnya Guild Mage. Yeah. They hadn't played anything in so long. I really just thought they were on nothing. Dude, me too, Johnny. <laughs> I love it. Okay, yeah, they can't do much. Um, let's start with Palaka Worm attacking. <laughs> yeah, three Ellie, that's exactly where that's from. So, we could just sack Palaka Worm to draw a card, reanimate Vampire Nighthawk, and get back Palaka Worm. 
We honestly don't even need to make a play. I think we're fine. Let's just pass. We can double block the Garna and then if Chupacabra dies, then we can make the Blood for Bones play and get the Blood for Bones or get the Chupacabra back. Can you not sack and reanimate the same creature? Oh, they're unearthing gifted Etherborn. Nah, you can sack the same creature and then reanimate it, but it honestly feels like, yeah, you can. I just read it. It seems like you can. Because it's not, you don't have to choose a target or anything. Oh, baby. Yeah, let's do this. Let's place our Conrad. Leaving a blood for bones. Oh, hold on. I tapped my Siggy's wrong. One sec. Like that. Boom. Leaving up blood for bones. And then we can just say Palakorm to attack. They have to block at some point because it's just like so much damage. Greetings and salutations. Hey, Loophole King. Welcome on in. How are you? So now that it's Dobbs. We get to, they get to Bastion me, but I get to draw a card. Yeah, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be great. And now we could sack. Sack Acolyte, get reanimate Palaka Worm, and get back Acolyte in our hand. Yeah, that sounds good. Sack Acolyte. Re Choose a creature to put on the battlefield. Palaka Worm. Return get your card from the hand. Acolyte. Wow, look at that. We're just... <laughs> we're firing on all cylinders. This is so, such a sick deck. I love it. I'm so glad chat talked me into Sir Conrad. It's been amazing. Thank you, Lupul. Can I appreciate that? I think we have a very, like, kind of grindy nonsense deck. Let's just see if we can mill them out. Rakshasa Gravecrawler. Yeah, GB Garbo actually getting there. Murderous Redcap and Paradise Druid. I uh, Acolyte also works, I think. Because we can go one, two, three, four... Because it is living, leaving the graveyard. Ooh. Order of Midnight sounds pretty good. Trigger, trigger, and Dobbs. So we're playing against black, red, like, stuffs. I think we won the Wicker Bow Elder because I do have the Bastion of Remembrance. Yeah, Conrad, Conrad is messed up, man. It really is. It's just every game, it's been like the best card. Saltai Soothsayer is really good too, though. That card's been doing solid work because we don't have that many ways to put stuff in the yard. Like, this deck needed a Seder Wayfinder, and honestly, if we drew our freaking grapple from the past a little bit more often, I think it would be better. <laughs> yes, Costas. Exactamente. Yeah, the Winding Way would have been sick, Wolf's Ark. A Seder Wayfinder, which I know is in the queue, but we didn't get, would have been sick. What else would have been good? Imagine Connor, but with Inner Demon. Inner Demon is good. We could maybe see... Din I could maybe see Inner Demon against this opponent. They probably have kill spells, though. God, Spider Spawning would have been so sick. Hey, SJR, welcome. We're having a good day today. How are you today? So what do we take out for... I could see Vampire Envoy just being a good blocker against some of the stuff that they presented. They just had like... Three threes and two twos and stuff. What do we cut? Mm. Yeah, certainly I think it is main deckable. I'm not like super enthused to play it. I think we can cut the regrowth. 
regrowth honestly doesn't look that good because we just don't have that many ways to put stuff in the yard in the first place and then we're like we have so many ways to reanimate yeah for that makes sense it, it is it is a banger acolyte of affliction is sick I think maybe Artisan of Kozilek is a little expensive against this deck, so maybe we can just keep, like, Baloth, Null, Pluck, Worm, like, Sultai, Soothsayer as, like, our top end. I'm only a little salty about it. Honestly, sometimes you feel like you played super tight and you stabilize and you're like, we got this, we're gonna do this, and then they just mise you with a Conrad. Like, it's always just, like, feels like a bullshit card, you know? Just chill, chores sort of day. That makes sense, SJR. This weekend was a chores sort of weekend for me. Just doing mono chores at home. I did get to do a lot of gardening though. That was nice. Shrimpin! Welcome! How you doing, shrimp? Shrimperinos. Let me show you the deck, Shrimpin. For anybody else who hadn't seen our deck, as we wait for our opponent to show up, this is what we're playing. Ooh, this hand's... This hand's beautiful! Okay, no one drop. That's good for us. Step one, jungle hollow. Draw something good. Yes, yes. You can be a self-proclaimed great magic mind, Dokomoi. No one, no one says you can't do that. Don't let people tell you what you can and cannot do. All right, let's just play Siggy first, I think. Boom. Oh, Dokumoi, when do you get timed out? When are all the rewards happening from uh, your guys' charity stream? I'm looking forward to them. I want to, I want to watch. Oh, Shadow Elves. Let me grapple first. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to take... The Vampire Nighthawk. But even though we can't play it, sadly. I'm getting close, though. Stay off Twitch on Thursday? Not 100% sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I know, the D&D one-shot sounds so cool. It sounds like multiple people um, are going to stream it as well, which I'm... Which sounds pretty cool, because you can maybe, like, watch different perspectives. Uh, fly no? Sure. Not great for me, but not the worst. You're doing your 12-hour stream either this weekend or next weekend? Love it. So, we can't... We'll be able to get our second Black Source for Nighthawk in a second, but we can't yet. So, I think the best we've got is play Forest and then just try to... Or Magu for the most. Just take a swamp out of the graveyard, I suppose. You're going to be in May next week, but I'm hoping to have a cross stitch stream in the week after. Oh my gosh, that's right! Oh no, 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 no. What did I do? I definitely wanted a basilica this turn. I was. I got excited thinking about people's streams. Yeah, that's a bummer because we can't play Vampire Nighthawk anymore. That's fine. Oh, that's interesting, Dokomoi. I mean, you could wait for M21. It is like, wait, oh, wow, you like really mized, huh? They're on three. I might attack with a Grimagio, trade with a Gifted Aetherborn, and then back for more to eat the fly. No, that sounds like, sounds pretty good. Yeah, double exposure. That's what I was thinking. Um, I think I'm just going to do it now. Because then I can play my Orzhov Basilica too. You sold your old card last year to my sister's friend and I just got a couple of citations. Oh no, man. Smokey, that is loose. Like, that's like the first thing you do when you get somebody else's cars. You have to cheat. Good thing you had the stuff. That is hella loose. I'm going to pick up a forest. 
All right. And they didn't have the bolt? Ah, they didn't have the bolt. Love it. Dude, Wolf's Ark, my... Oh, they just got the 3-6. My battle pass this time, I shouldn't have bought it. Like, it's just bad. I haven't completed, like, half of it. I've just... I mean, we have arena a bunch. Like, we hit Mythic and Limited, but we've been mostly just cubing, so... Oh, did I... I'm gonna... I think I'm lower than that Dokomoi. I'm doing real bad. That's why I always make copies. I just told my sister and she's livid about it. Yeah, you should be. Especially... That's so loose. Wait, they did have the bolt. So did they draw it last turn? Because why didn't they... I guess maybe they had Rachasa Gravecaller. So they weren't worried about my Joker Maggio. Free mastermind event in arena isn't bad. Uh, what event is that right now? Yeah, chipmunk. I really should have just waited this time around. Oh, man. My opponent just drew a bunch of cards. That is no bueno. What does this do? Equipped creature has plus one, plus one, and death touch. Eesh. What do we have for that? We have death sprouts. Mm, that's pretty good. Um, so let's just get back Vampire Nighthawk, I suppose. Uh, you don't care about cosmetics? Is it worth to buy the Master Pass if I failed? I don't think so. If you really don't care about cosmetics, it's just kind of not going to do that much for you, I don't think. Hold on. Uh, 150 card singleton deck. Each player has a number that says, if you haven't played a land this turn, you can discard a land to play a colorless land token that taps for any color of mana. Huh. Was it fun? Yeah, personal spoon. Basically, I think, like, yeah, you do get rewards from it, but you have to value the cosmetics at some amount because some amount of the value you get is tied to the cosmetics. Discard a card your deck contains zero lands. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. It sounds kind of interesting. I don't know. Wow, we got there. So let's... Hold on. The Basilica tapping for extra is like throwing me off. There you go. Stepping off Twitch to do some friend stuff. Dekka, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you had a really good day. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. Enjoy time with your friends. That sounds super fun. Mm, yep. We can start jamming. We jamming. Wait, why are they blocking me? Do they have like a deal three? It's really strange. Mastery Pass benefits the pet. Helps you get grow your collection. If you do enough of it, it makes percentage of your gems back. Yeah. So it's a really small percentage of your gems that you get back because, like, you do get the pet, which is a cool cosmetic you get to keep forever. They did have something. What is this? It has to be, like, a deal three or something. Oh! That's pretty clever. Wait. Wait, what just happened? Why didn't it work? Oh, sorry. It went back to their hand. I I it's back to hand, not not um not to battlefield, that's why. I like the new pet. The new pet seems cute. We should change how to make chicha apparently traditional way to make chicha. Yep, yep, that is a part of it. They don't make it like that anymore though, Silver. Unless you go to like the Amazon like to the actual like Amazonian tribes, in which case I've definitely had some of that chicha, but it gets all fermented. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've had it. I've had it like the gross one. The one made with spit. <laughs> um, so they chose not to play the Rakshasa Gravecaller. Why didn't they do that? They didn't even equip uh, the Gorgon Flail. What's happening over here? 
Is it sanitary? Yeah, eventually it ferments enough that it doesn't do anything. Like, it's, it is fine. What is this? Well, they, they, they clearly have something because they've been... Uh, bituminous. Oh, this bituminous is this cascades, right? Kill a creature. Deal four damage to target creature cascade. All right, let's hope they hit something stupid. Blood artist is not bad. So what? So what fermented stuff have you made, Zluars? I actually love fermented stuff, so I I'm all about it. I've done. I fermented carrots. I fermented. Um, oh, sorry, I'm in an attacks. I'm like playing arena out here. I fermented pickles. I've done my own pickling. And what else have I fermented? I did like one other type of veggie. Was it like baby corns? They taste just like sour. It's just like sour carrots, basically double exposure. It's nothing special. Oh my God, Smokey, it's so funny. It's always squirrels. It's always videos of squirrels who have been eating pumpkins that have been out for a while so they're fermented. And then you see them grabbing onto a tree and then they just like roll backwards like this. Like they can't, they can't get it together. I do, right there, I do like fermented daikon. I've never made it myself. Yeah, I assume getting store-bought kimchi is just probably a lot easier. Like they probably make them in huge batches, you know? Wait, what did you say, squirrel? What in the world did you say? <laughs> That's true. Squirrel makes a good point. He just said, look, and people were like, squirrel, get out. They just knew. Oh, really, Smokey? That's funny. Sounds kind of, like, not tasty. Dude, this blood artist is going to give us a business. We need to draw... Oh, hold on. I wanted to upkeep... Oh. That was actually not bad. If we just putrefy the blood artist, we're probably in good shape, honestly. When I had that ABC chicha that they tell you was made from spit beforehand. You just knew. It's like a very commonly known thing. There's like two things that are very commonly known that are kind of gross. Lubars. The first one, let me set an upkeep stop because we're going to be upkeep dried green seekering. Uh... Oh, Timmy's really annoying, huh? It eats all our stuff from the yard. Oh, that's so cool, DC. <laughs> that is some real like buy a village, play the village, play the village, to buy the village, play the village, buy the village. I think it's fine that Timmy is doing all this nonsense, mostly because I really don't think we can let them keep the blood artist, but it it is annoying. Hmm. Maybe the Gorgon Fist is more annoying than Blood Artist. I'm going to do that and then I can just block with Gurmagio. That's really funny, Smokey. <laughs> That's true, Squirrel. Squirrel, you just need somebody else to take the heat from you. You gotta find a even bigger... Mm, yeah, let's put it in hand. So, I am gonna upkeep and... Because we want to try to find some action. Yeah, I mean, that's better than nothing, I suppose. An <laughs> even bigger rodent! Oh my gosh, yeah, still come on. So... The first time we played Dominion, I played Dominion with BK, and there's a card called The Village. Like, Dominion limits the amount of actions you can take per turn. So there's a card called The Village, which lets you draw a card and take another action. So it's one of the few ways in the game that you can keep, like, expanding the amount of actions you take in the game. So BK obviously caught on to this, so he, all he did was buy The Village. So he was always like, buy The Village, play The Village, like, draw The Village, play The Village, draw The Village, play The Village, draw The Village, play The Village. By the end of that game, like, none of us wanted to play Dominion anymore. <laughs> yes, it's like a storm deck, basically. This Timurid is going off. 
Oh, the two gross things. Sorry, Slubars. The two gross things are people know that chicha is made out of that stuff. Also, if you have like a shaman cleanse, because there are local shamans who like still practice and do all that stuff. Um, the shaman has, there's this, um, that you can have this like, it's a, it's a wild, so I've never done this, but it's a, it's called uh, ayahuasca. And it is a, yeah, so we're going to want to crack the landscape so we draw any more cards. It is like a sh like shamanic drink that makes you extremely high, basically. And um, you need a shaman to like guide you through the like, being extremely high part of it because you like heavily hallucinate stuff. Is that the active ingredient peyote? No, it gets made from people chewing up the leaves of this thing and then turning that into kind of like a stew. So that also is made with people like humping on it, you know? Yeah, it's an ayahuasca ceremony. That's exactly what it is. So it's a, it's like a shamanic ceremony that you... No, my druid. How dare you? It does, squirrel. I have friends that have done it. They like, they think it's pretty cool. I... Um, you need to like, oh, wow. These are the last two cards in our deck. Last two lands, except for a Demir Aqueduct and a Backwater that are still in there. What happened in the village clip? I basically killed everyone in the village is what happened. All right, the Dried Green Secret wasn't even going to be good anymore. There's only two cards left. Let me upkeep, get rid of it. How many subs for ayahuasca stream? It's impossible. I would not. I don't think I would do it. It's just, um, it's a little too wild for me. Nah, I've never done it, Slubars. I have a bunch of friends who have done it. They, they, they've said it's pretty cool, but they had to, like, get a shaman to, like, guide them and all that stuff. Nah, different one, Dreamy. This one's made by them, like, chewing up a bunch of plants and then, like, turning it into a stew, essentially. Um, okay, so Conrad is going to help in our efforts. Yes, I will eat corn dogs before doing ayahuasca. That's just like a little, a little too metal for me. Oh man, look at that. Timurid's gaining them life, but then Sir Conrad comes and punches him right back. They don't even have attacks, yeah. Come on, give me some good. Uh, I... We have so few of these left, and we still managed to draw it. Yeah, exactly. Count Connor counters Timmy. Oh my god, Penguin. <laughs> Twitch plays Ayahuasca Trip. Oh, shoot. Bastion remembers is a problem. Our Wicker Bow Elder is somewhere in there. We boarded it in so that we could destroy it here. They might actually start suiciding some stuff here. Nah, they're not doing it yet. So, Derek Crow, we're at 12 cards, so I'm a little gun-shy on um, activating it too much, given that they're at a pretty high life total. I'm hoping to draw, like, our Palaka Worm or something so we can start attacking a little bit better. This has been a grindy game, yeah. Um, also, this Vampire Envoy is actually going to be pretty clutch because we're going to be attacking for three and gaining one. Red Cap to kill my Order of Midnight. That's super annoying. Okay, so if you don't care about cosmetics but plan on filling the Mastery Pass anyways, is the Teferi Play Bundle a good deal? What's in the Teferi Play Bundle, Personal Spoon? I don't know what's in the Teferi one. I don't think I've seen it. Come on, there's only one land left. There you go. So... Boop. And we can start attacking with the Envoy. Alright, drawing the Wicker Bow Elder was really good because that really, really messed up with our plans. Is it possible to set up to mill enough on our last turn that they mill out? Um, no, because we'd, we'd mill out first, double exposure. They have 14 cards, we have 10. I believe what's going to happen is we're going to kill them through damage. Isn't it both players? It's each player puts a top card of their library into their graveyard. Oh, no! Oh, I see what you mean. Set it up so that we 
mill, but we don't draw, but they draw. Yeah. Well, Conrad is dead, and I don't actually think we should be activating it. Dude, Slubars, it, it, it's, it's like a wild thing. It's a, it's a big thing back home. Yeah, cut does make it irrelevant. So, I mean, Vampire Envoy is still going to have to... When Chiriran enters the battlefield, it's opens a card from their hand on top of their library. They have three. Might as well do it. Okay, so they have a lot of life they can gain through their Temi by exiling, because it's... Yeah, so they can still exile stuff from their yard. This is annoying. At least they can't kill us. We only have nine turns to kill them, though. We still have Palaka Worm somewhere in here, so... Baloth Null doesn't do anything, sadly. Oh, it's possible we wanted to kill Tim with Wicker Bow, yeah. Holy moly, we can't really sell Tai Soothsayer, can we? Yeah, that's bad. Hold on, what do we have left in here? Have we used Death Sprout yet? Yeah, there's a chance we just can't. I think we boarded out the Artisan because they looked like a pretty aggressive deck. So now we just can't even play the Soothsayer. I might do it on the last turn if we can, like, try to get a kill on the last turn or something. Oh, gosh. That sucks because those are counters. You wait and mill them out on the last turn no but this is look at the top four cards of your library so that doesn't actually do it we might actually be dead to decking this is pretty rough there's the death sprout okay 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 it starts with no sir conrad is already dead though it's been exiled. Yeah, he's he gone. It has to be to kill Timmy, but I feel like we're dead. We might have to try to jam on game three. I have multiple raised dead left. We can start attacking with some stuff. Maybe try to like push some damage. They have blood artists, though. It's really hard for us to... Yeah, we can still attack with Vampire Envoy for sure. Okay, so they're going to use Timmy for some nonsense. So, Fat Stupid, I think Timmy's doing a better job keeping them alive over Blood Artist. So, obviously this is, like, not the ideal scenario. There's a lot of creatures we would have wanted to kill. I think we should play it out, Seize Man, even though we're really low on... We need to drop Palaka Worm. I think once we drop Palaka Worm, I think a lot of things are going to come together. Yep, this is game two. We just had a really long first two games. We need the Palaka. Basically, I think we're going to have to set it up so that we get Chainer's Edict. Oh, that actually is fine. We can sack Chupacabra. Okay, I think, I think this is the plan. This is gonna, oh my god, we have so many of the self-mill cards, brutal. I think maybe we won't use the Soothsayer at all, and then just use the Acolyte of Affliction. And see if we hit the Palaka Worm, Baloth Null, perfect. Play Baloth Null, One, two, three, four, five, six. Get back, Chupacabra. Yeah, I know we need time for game three. Hold on. Mm. 
Boom. So now we can kill the um, blood artist. And then we can start just jamming with some stuff. Um, what's getting in there? Are we just jamming with everyone? Maybe. Kind of like it. We just are in a really tough spot. And they're not going to kill us on the crackback. So I think we have to start jamming. Now that they won't gain the life thanks to the artist. Well, the minus three one actually gains a life when it attacks. So it's worth it. So they're going to eat that. Chump there. Eat that. Eat that. And... Sure, so that's just a pillow fight. And then they're gonna get to kill... Deal me one damage, basically. When it persists. Oh, they can use the one damage to kill the Wicker Bow Elder. Nah, that's pretty clutch. Lady! Lady, how are you? Welcome on in. Alright, see, this is... This is going medium. We're like starting to break through the, the board stall a little bit. Oh shoot, Kaya's really freaking good. Okay, so we have to slow roll the Soothsayer until the basically last turn, because that's the last turn we can use it. Skull Prophet is so bad here. Man, we don't have good attacks anymore. The the Kaya just like messed us up. Was Palaka Worm really one of the last three cards? Feels like we might just be dead. Oh shoot, I should have attacked with a uh, Vampire Envoy, whatever. Yeah, the Baloth Null was like a big part of us being able to attack next turn. How was your day, lady? It's good to see you. Gurmagio died. Is this Palaka? Palaka Laka. Dross is a card, too. <sighs> okay, so we'll attack next turn, and it's going to be the last turn anyway. So we'll attack with Palaka. We'll just attack with everyone next turn. Oh, that gives a death touch? Sure. So we can actually pump up the team. I'm good, lady. We're like kind of losing an uphill fight right now. It's been been kind of rough. What's the last card in the deck? I'm not actually sure, RG. Yeah, DMC, we need them to not do that. Shoot, they, they death touched it. That's really bad. Maybe... Yeah, they're death touching up everything. Oh, man. I know, they read their cards. <laughs> sure, they death touched everything. I kind of want to see what the last card is just in case. I really doubt we can string something together here, but yeah, it was an aqueduct. We can't really burn them out from 12. Okay, we're going to try to jam in the last game. Let's take out the really... Well, Artisan of like is actually a fast way to kill them. Let's bring in Elephant Guide... Let's bring in Rancor. And yeah, yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go aggro for sure. 
Yeah, maybe we didn't attack with Palaka, and then we just attack with everyone, pump, then make a bunch of tokens, and then the next turn attack. I don't know if that actually gets there. Angel, uh... Nah, it seems like it's a little slow, even, even in what we're trying to do. I could see Inner Demon, maybe, like, just try to mize him. Let's take out all the slow stuff. Selesnia, Guild Mage, kind of slow. Um... Poopy, I don't think we really want Inner Demon in this deck. It kills a lot of our stuff, but I don't... But I think I want it now. Yeah, get... Maybe the Sultai Soothsayers actually, like, don't really want to bother with uh, playing Islands. And what else? I don't think... Lam Lampad is too many clicks, I think. Envoy's a little dirtly, but if I'm bringing Rancor, I think I want to keep it. Oh, yeah, sure. The demon's a four. Oh, we need one more card to cut. Oh, dried green seeker's like way too slow for what we're doing because we're, we're just going to try to jam, go pedal to the middle. Yang for pumps and ramp, I think, is a little slow, poopy. Okay, we're just going to... All right, we're going to keep this one. Okay, F6, or F8, rather. Get this, pick up you. Okay, so then we have to play Swamp. So we're going to just Vampire Nighthawk and just, like, rancor it up. That's the plan. It's a really crappy plan. <laughs> I think it's fine, so cutie. The blue lands don't punish us too much. Shoot. Play creature, play creature, play creature. Yes, perfect. So now we're going to rank her up the Chupacabra. New plan. Boom. Got him. All right, so we have one, two, three, four. So definitely want to play Skull Prophet next turn. Oh, shoot. Sir Conrad is actually kind of a problem. Okay, Inner Demon doesn't do a whole lot here. Let me just play Dismal Backwater. We're super far from casting this Palak Worm, sadly. Jesus. We were not probably not going to beat this draw. Yep, we are, we're just in trouble now. Like, we get to play Skull Prophet. Can't even rancor it up. Green source. Okay, that's... Don't even really want to play that against um, Kaya. Not really. Okay, I hope that Kaya just kills this Skull Prophet because it's a green source too for like Palak Worms. Yeah, Seasman, I think we were going to lose this game no matter what. They actually had just like a really, really good draw. All right, they have to do something about Skull Prophet because they can just attack Kaya. They killed it. All right, so new plan. Hope they don't have a Terminator or something. They have Bitum Bituminous Blast in their deck, so that would be bad if they did. Oh, shoot, I needed to rank her up my um, Sir Conrad. Envoy, sure. Timmy, Rakshasa. Holy moly, they are they are going to town. Jeez, whatever this is is bad for me. I think this is bituminous blast. Swift War Kite, oh my god. That gets back Timurit? Oh no, that gets back the Onyx Mage. That's even better. Also that, um... Connor's just... Yep, exactly, Seasman. 
Wow. Nah, we were just gonna die to this no matter what. Aggro deck or not. Kind of have to block here. Ah. Awful draw. Okay, we have blocks against the Swift War Kite. <laughs> That's true, Dokomoi. We will not we will not deck. So now they have Timurid and they can kill us in like two turns with Timmy. We're like very far from casting this block of worm. Oh, this isn't even Timmy. Ah Garna's good in their deck. All right, well, I guess we'll see what we draw, but I think we are dubs. Dubberinos. All good. All right, I need to use the restroom real quick, chat, so I will be right back. Yeah, Garn is a cool card. I mean, it works really well in cube. All those turns where they just get to free roll you and, like, make a trade, and it's kind of like having a removal spell almost. Um, all right, let me put my burb screen on. I will be right back. Let me play on that while I'm gone. Yeah, it's a good deck. Or is that... Are you talking about my deck? Because I do think my deck is sweet. Oh, hold on. We were going to change... Make a change, weren't we? Hi, dudes. What's going on, girl? What do you want? Mm. Oh, you. Oh. Good girl. Mm. Good girl, Julie. I think we wanted to cut the regrowth, right? And then add maybe like a Wicker Bow Elder. Honestly, I feel like it's just a better better card in our deck. Hey, Gabby, I was the guy who just played, was playing Rakdos Palka games. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome on in. Uh, how do you say your name? Tirensiern? It was good games. I realized I made a mistake in the second game. I don't think I would have won necessarily, but it would have been better. Attacking with a Palak Worm in the last turn meant that you could block if Death Touch and I would draw a card and I just wouldn't get another turn. So maybe I think what I was supposed to do is just like attack with everyone except Palaka, pop up the team, and then make like, I think I could make like three Sapperlings or something. Hi, Jules. Oy. Oh, look at her little dog butt on the stream. Julie. Julie. Hi. And then maybe I would have gotten like one more turn to make a big attack. I'm not sure if it would have actually like gotten there, but I think it would have been better. Ooh. Trent, it's your name from a DD campaign 15 years ago. That's cool, Trent. I love DD too. We talk about DD a lot on the stream too. Yeah, Julita tan bonita. I think we have to mull this one. It's just not very good. This one's good. I think I send back. Um, what do we send back? I'm gonna keep this. It's either I think one of the reanimate spells or a land. It could be blood for bones. It doesn't look super likely that we're gonna have something to sack and something to reanimate that quickly. Yeah, Z uh, Zman for sure. Garna's just like a good insurance policy, right? AC slow roll for two turns to discard the luck. Kurtash! It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a little bit. Ooh, you hit diamond. Love it. Yeah, well, sorry, this is a six, so I feel like we have to keep it. It's not amazing. I think I'm going to send back Forest. Just try to um, keep as much action in our hand as possible. Oh, that's cool, Trance. I love that. It's, uh, I think Cube is like, tomorrow there's a new cool cube coming out, Trance. I don't know if you've seen it. It's the Legacy Cube. That cube is also hella fun. All right. We've 
We're doing some good ramps and we got the Wicker Bow Elder. Yeah, no worries, Wolf Sark. It was just kind of like a medium hand. I might as well play it. Because even if things go south, we have the back for more in a couple turns. Basic land cycling. Oh, this card's cool. Treacherous Terrain. What is this from? Original Ravnica, maybe? I don't know. Let me get closer. Hey, Okiwi. How are you? Welcome on in. Ooh. Man, so close. So close to just having... Having the business. It's okay. We'll draw another land and we'll be in great shape. How are you doing, Okibi? Commander 2015. It looks like Ravnica just like by looking at it, you know. Okay, their crackling drake's not super scary yet. <laughs> oh, awkward. I'll do some mana burns, I guess. Uh, so I can't actually... That's a bummer. You finish your work for the day and we're whining here. That sounds awesome, Okubi. You love to see it. We're just chilling. I could bluff the activation. It is kind of sweet to bluff the activation there because if they block... We would never do it, but I guess I would just like... Scare them, you know. It's just so bad to set ourselves back just to kill a crackling drake, you know. Okay. Let's see what we got. Literally just all garbage. I'll take that and one, two, three, four, five, six. We could attack Kazmina. Oh, we should have left green open. You're right. Never mind. Never, never, no, 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 no. You, we should have left green up. Thought I popped back in after afternoon, but it's a happy pride, everyone! I love it! Thank you, Panic! Um, so Rancor's not actually in the deck, Poopy. Rancor was just uh, something we boarded into when we were, like, really low on time. So, we boarded that in to become an aggro deck, but it's not actually in the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The honest reason I left Swamp Up is because we have Joger Magio, but we just didn't have enough cards in the yard to ever cast it, so there was no real reason to. Destroy target artifact. Oh, man. There it would have been nice to respond to... with Wicker Bowl Elder and just make it big. That's cute, Panic. I like your little koala with... Uh... So I... I do believe we should attack uh, Kazmina. We don't want to double block. That sounds bad, but they can't block this in a profitable way. Okay, so we killed the Kazmina. That's something, at least. Let's get the... No, not this. We should get the Skull Prophet going, because Skull Prophet... Um... Can bin stuff for our reanimation spells, which we currently have, like, nothing of. Yeah, it's really cute. I love it. Sadly, we can't play Selesnya Guildmage as well, so we're just gonna mana burn again. Aquadox make you mana burn a lot. <laughs> exactly, Raga. So we're just gonna start acting. Oh, although, actually, we can probably pay Palak Worm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Yeah, they tap out a blue, maybe. 
Thai peanut dipping sauce for fried chicken. That sounds pretty good, Smokey. That's not that different from like chicken satay or something. Yeah, it's uh, I think it sounds delicious. Uh, it looks like they're passing with uh, counter magic up. That's true, Poopy. But it could be dissolved. Like, it could be something that actually exiles the Palaka worm, which would be kind of annoying. Yeah, dissipate. Yeah, I I don't think we should. I actually think we just play Selesnya. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we can play the forest. And we can play Selesnya Guildmage because that's fine. Ain't no thing. And then we can also attack Soothsayer at Tahili because they still don't have very good blocks there. Yeah, you should try it, Smokey. I think it sounds pretty good. It is McGriff, but I it's more about the fact that they're leaving three mana up to do this. I don't want to play into their open mana. Because as soon as they use their counterspell that free out, like they are committed to doing this play. We don't we still have good alternative plays by having them like basically waste three mana if they're doing this. That sounds so good, Smokey. See? So like they're basically committing half their mana to having a counter spell up, which is not super helpful, especially when we have Selesnya Guild Mage and we can just be activating that. As far as they know, we actually have a back for more is, is our ultimate plan. Lightning Helix on my Wicker Bow Elder. Um, so I can definitely let the Sahili thing trigger and now we can remove a counter. I know, did you see that? Did you see that next level play, Dokomoi? It was incredible. Dude, seriously, Smokey. <laughs> to be fair, Magic Online makes it really hard for you to see it. They really do. They changed it because it you always used to it used to pop out when people talk to you, and I think they that people got annoyed with that. Um, they're attacking with everybody. Yo, Trent, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate you using your Prime sub here. Thank you, thank you. Mm, I'm just gonna take it, I think. It it is a bunch of damage, but I just don't really want to trade any of these creatures for it for it. I appreciate that, Trance. Thanks. Oh, they ended up using a burst lightning on my wicker bow elder. That is acceptable. And they're going to leave up counter magic once more. Yeah, McGriff, it was actually because people were really obnoxious about it. Ooh, fight with fire on my thingy. All right, I accept. We're going to have a good turn next turn. Bastion, thank you so much for the six months. I really appreciate that. Welcome back, Bastion. Hold on, let me give some love and hype to Trent and Bastion. Thank you, thank you, Darth. Alrighty, so since we have a Soothsayer that we actually actively want to reanimate. Um, although I guess we could try to just get Kozilek, Artisan of Kozilek, and then reanimate that, and then that. Yeah, because I think next turn we're just going to play Worm. So I think it's better to just make a Sap. Yeah, yeah, we'll just play Wormy. So I think that means that we just want to make sap here. So we can have some blockers. Block them. Love it. Cool, back up to 17 and myriad landscape. And we can start attacking Sahili. I don't think we want to... 
We could attack with Selesnya Guild Mage, but then it trades two servos, basically. Nah, that can't be worth it. Oh, thank you so much, Trent. I appreciate that. Plus, if you're subbing with Prime, it's basically a free roll. So it's like a... That's the nice thing about uh, Prime. You basically just get to support, like, content creators where the money wasn't going to go anywhere otherwise, you know, unless you use it for specifically that. Yeah, Smokey, people on Magic Online get soup salty, so they changed that. It makes sense why they changed the chat to be the way it is, but it's also a bummer because I actually liked interacting with my opponents on MTGO, and now I feel bad because I just ignore people when I don't mean to, you know? Yeah, Raga, that is going to be a problem. We need to... We need to... Um, we're going to need to make some... Oh, shoot! That is a big problem. This is not Pioneer Dreadboar. This is uh, Cube. Well, we might just be dead, actually. Jeez. Okay. Calm down, Squirrel. Squirrel's out of control. Act of aggression is super scary. <sighs> what can we do against that? Butter and blood. Oh, you know what? Um, Inner demon looks good against some of the stuff they were doing. Yeah, get squirrel, get out. I mean, not responding in empty geo chat is probably what prompted me to actually go find your stream after games. That's true, Trends, but... I do feel bad because so many times I've like, will pop out chat at the end or something and then they'll see that my opponent was talking to me and I'm like, oh shoot, I, I really hope they don't think I was just ignoring them. The get out combo is amazing. How good is Artisan of Coast? Like it's like the worst one against the uh, active aggression. So maybe we take that out and then we just bring an inner, inner demon to wrath. I think that sounds like a good play. Cry deeply, yeah, Poopy, I agree. <laughs> Squirrel. Exactly, Fiddles. Just don't play any creatures. They can't beat you without them. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Did you guys see all the new doggo cards that they previewed? They previewed them today. Look at that, baby. Alpine Houndmaster. When Alpine Houndmaster enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a card named Alpine Watch Doge and or a card named uh, Igneous Curse. So it, it tutors either of the dogs. Uh, reveal them, put them in your hand, and shuffle your library. Then the doggo is just, it looks like maybe just costs one and a white. It's got VG, but it doesn't say what it does. And then the cur is one and a red, and it... I don't know the text, but it's like... Maybe when it attacks, it gets plus two plus so until end of turn. I think that would be my guess for it. Uh, my preview card is this uh, Saturday, Smokey. I need to, I still need to animate my video. This looks slow, but I'm going to keep it. No, I don't think I read the text. Let me see. On pack leader? Mm, no, nah. can you tell me what it is? Because I can't see it here. Uh, fire breathing, I think. Oh, interesting. So it's not just when it attacks. Because it reminds me of, like, there's, like, a Borderland Ranger or something that is the same. It was a 1-2, but when it attacks, it's a 3-2. It's a the VG dog is vanilla. Just, like, 2 mana VG, some amount of, like, a 1-3 or something. I, I believe so, Ryan. He will be your loyal companion and his pack, your protectors. All he asks for is full belly, a spot by the fire, and all the love in your heart. That's so cute. Too wholesome for you. That sounds like the best boy. Pack leader is the, the dog lord, right? That's true, Poopy. Because we have like the main servos of 1-4. Alpen Watchdog has to be like a 1-4 probs. And makes doggos not take combat damage. We're probably going to be playing some like... Some dog themed decks. All right, so they haven't really done anything. I think they've just been kind of passing with manas. 
We honestly haven't had that much we could play, so... Oh, wow. If we had hit a artifact, if we had hit our Siggy, they could have shredded sails that. What's my hot take on Chandra's Incinerator? Is that the, like, six mana one? It seems like Red Decks could play it. They'd be happy to. All right, boom. We did it. Oh, no, sorry. We can't. We don't have the right manas. Draw Black Source, Goober, please. That is a Black Source. Just a crappy one. Yeah, Trample. Whenever a source you control deals non combat damage to the player, Shandos Incinerator deals that much damage to the player you control or Planeswalker the player controls. Interesting. Dude, we're going to lose this game because of awkward mana, and now they're just going to have stuff to kill our... We're just going to have to pass and maybe like try to do it upkeep or something. Maybe we try to let them... Uh... Okay, here's our chance. I mean, they are going to fall Like, I'm not really sure how we get out of this, to be honest. Uh, let's get a Black Source. Yeah, Burman is dubs. Let's yield. Okay, I'm not sure how we beat this Factor Fiction. Let's see. Puts our creature on top of its owner's library. I think maybe it's like that. Cute panic. Oh my god, that little heart emote is so adorable. I love it. Our hand is pretty stacked. It's just we haven't had a chance to like deploy anything. Not really. I think it's the split. Give him the act of aggression, land and lightning helix or pyromancer royal spout. It's we're not gonna find a good split. Th these are all good, you know. Hey, an unladen swallow. We were learning about swallows today. Actually, look, we learned how to draw a birds of paradise today. Gaga. Nice and Reeves, congratulations. Okay, so now we're not gonna upkeep anymore. I bet they still have counter magic. They just wanted to use their mana for factor fiction. So, what are we playing next turn? Joker Magio. Wait, which pile did they take? Hold on. They took the act of aggression, land, and uh, lightning helix mountain and act of aggression pile. All right, not loving our chances. I guess we start by playing a uh, Chitter Rats. Okay, they're back to six. Um, what do we do? Maybe we just play an Order of Midnight so it can start attacking Sahili. Just like try to use our mana since we've been so far behind. Well, hitting Sahili is a little awkward because Fiddles, they have Lightning Helix in hand. So they can Lightning Helix, my Chittering Rats, block the Skull Prophet. And then that's, you know, that seems like pretty bad. Super bad exchange. I think it's better to just cast the Order of Midnight. And then maybe use this to try to attack Sahili. Yeah, it's just it's just super sketchy to like run into that lightning helix. We know they have lightning helix and royal spout. Those are like the cards to watch out for. They're in a really good supreme will to make a one. So Healy's really good against us. Kind of stinks. Yeah, there's a chance. I mean, we need them to use the Lightning Helix before we go for Inner Demon, but Inner Demon could be good here. Man, that uh, Crackling Drake's going to be a problem. How 
How are we... How are we gonna break through? They still have active aggression, so, like, playing something big is pretty dangerous. Hmm. We could start maybe, like, using Skull Prophet to bin stuff to the yard and then Baloth and all. We could attack everything that's a Healy. Yeah, Fiddles, I think we're gonna struggle with that. We could attack both of these that's a Healy. Because we can just buy them back with Baloth and all. Like, we really need to Healy off the board. Me doing this if I saw it in this game. Yeah, Panic, we've been, um... We're, we're, we've been struggling this game. I think their, their Sahili in particular is really good against our stuff. So if they get to land it. Sure. I accept. They have so much removal. Okay, let me mill some more and see if we had something good for the Bayloth. We hit the Vampire Nighthawk. That's not too bad. So let's get Vampire Nighthawk and Order of Midnight back. Now they're going to steal our Bayloth and they hit me for 10, 11, 12, 13. It's a lot. Oh, man, they're just, um... Oh, that's actually lethal. Lightning Helix makes another 1-1, one -one and then... Yeah, she's, man, we are we are in troubles. Now they're gonna act of aggression. They don't even need to pay for Rexing for it. They could just steal it. Yeah. Act of aggression is very good against us. Yeah, we're dubs. They can even turn that thing into a Drake. Their deck was pretty good. Boo! We went one and two. Our deck was really sweet. I feel like we had... That last game, I feel, was pretty tough matchup. And then I think... What was the other game we lost? What was the other game we lost? Yeah, Sahili is a... Is, Sahili is very strong, for sure. So, Raga, I usually would start a new draft right now, but I actually kind of have a headache, so I think I'm, I'm going to be taking off because I'm. it's been getting worse as, as the day has progressed. Usually I would do another draft here. Uh, opinion, we don't have enough interaction for those sorts of games. Totally agree. We have no way to deal with Sahili other than attacking it down, and they just make a lot of 1-1s one -ones that, that, can, um, that can block our stuff. Yeah, Sahili was just okay in war. She's very good when you put like pair up with a bunch of cheap spells and then put stuff like Drakes in your deck, you know? Thank you, chat. I'm I'm okay. It's just been getting it's I don't know, it's probably dehydration, but it's been getting worse, so I'm just gonna call it here. Let me go find somebody for us to host, shall we? If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.